you're doing well today we're taking the any builds a310 which i haven't showcased on this video, uh, on this channel yet and honestly haven't done a flight with either <laughs> um but yeah um it's been out for a while of course and we're gonna take it and fly it to helsinki um we've got a few new add-ons running and i'm gonna see if i'm gonna keep them running if i don't fly on vats or anything like that but for one is live traffic we're at yeah, really happy with it actually. Performance is pretty good. Um, and um, sounds are pretty decent as well. Uh, the modelings and texturings are nice. And the way they work also is nice. You have them on TCAS. Um, so yeah, it's overall it's a really nice uh, experience to having them. So anyways, let's get started, right? So ignition off, wipers off. Uh, throttles idle, reverse thrust, throw gears down. Uh, and the circuit brakes are all checked. Batteries, go up here, verify 23, at least uh, above 25 volts, so that's checked on all three, so we can turn them all on. One, two, three, we should see the DC, DC central on bat light and the AC emergency on inverter light illuminate. We're going to extinguish all white lights. And um, you would also check the emergency AC generator here, but for some reason it doesn't want to work, so... Must be a simulation um, and accuracy. We'll do an AP fire test. That's checked. And then a squib test. Cancel once and verify that the loop B light extinguishes. There it goes. All right. Next, connect the external power for the APU. So I'm going to quickly get the uh, external power connected and started there we go with that we're going to set our cockpit lighting as we desire but i like it the way it is right now i don't need any uh, background integrity lights i mean i can see everything and uh, we're going to turn on the left inner tank 2 pump on for better uh, fueling or less fueling time pro window heat stays off just for now ventilation no white lights and flow bars checked and we do enunciator test we can hear the wind shear Brake handle is stowed and disarmed, flaps and indications agree. And we can now load the aircraft, so we're going to go to load sheet. Fortunately, no real-time loading or anything like that. Um, that's one feature I like about the Q4XP, for example. Um, I wish every add-on had the op option to do real-time loading, but unfortunately that's not the case. But we've had 16.3 tons of fuel on board today. And... Um, a zero fuel weight of 110.2. Boom. It gives us, we're gonna make ourselves have a CG of 26%, close to 26.1. Load. We've got 23%. We're sending that to do the performance. It does take off weight of 126.1. All right, that's good. So with that, we'll go to the overhead, and we're just gonna do the quick IRS alignment here. One, two, and three. That's checked, and then we go to the FMS, and we verify the data. So we got the GE A310-300, NAV database is up to date, everything is checked. Um, and the same data can be checked here as well. That's good. Put it in it. And we're going to get um, our flight plan from ACAR. So we're going to initialize ACAR real quick. Um, so we go to ACAR's main. And then we just do a company request, company root request. And there it goes. All right, line IRS. And we're just checking that from and to. We're also going to put in our alternate, which is, I believe, Talon. Put that in, turn, and uh, that's good for now. The rest we'll check later. Okay, we now do the overhead scan. No smoking auto. Heat belt's on because feeling is completed. The rest is all fine. Checked, checked, checked. Light recorder on, and no lights. Auto, one. Actually, we'll use system 2 today. Everything we can arm will arm. And we'll do a engine 1 fire test. Um. Okay. 
direkt. Grip Test ist okay. And should extinguish. There it goes. Looks good here. Fuel pumps can now come on. We have again. We have everything on board, and it's all looking good. Landing gear um, indications agree. DVR test checked. System two for today. Um, what's it? Your altitude is one thousand five hundred feet. Is checked zero and zero. These can now come on as well. Crew supply comes on, and we'll do engine fire 3 test. And that checks out. Everything looks good here. Go unlock. Arm. The rest all looks fine. And that's the overhead scan complete. Now do the FMS initialization. So again, we're just checking everything here. All this is good. Let's so go to the next page. Our block fuel is 16.3. Enter, and we'll put in our OFP um, 0 fuel weight because we don't have the real load sheet just yet. The 110 decimal 2. Above max, so we might have to switch to. Um, we have to switch to flight level 350, so we'll do that. Um, 350, that's good. Okay. So the next page um, taxi 0 0.4, trip 9.1, alternate 1.3, um, and it gives us extra 2.6, 35 minutes, that's checked. Go to flight plan, enter in our SID and star. Um, we are taking, what are we taking? 08 left. Via the McKean 1 Quebec. Insert. And then star. Ivan for Victor. LS two two left. Two to right. Enter. Okay, maybe it wants. And do we have a transition error? No. So insert that. Do wind data request. I don't think it per properly works. I thought it was done through Simbrief, but I guess it uses x -Plane system so you don't get real weather information, unfortunately. I do use Active Sky, by the way, so. You can see just the average winds. Um, it changes a little bit here. The question is, is that from I don't know where that's from. Oh, flight plan. Checked. I'll go to progress page. We'll tune any VORs that we need to. So if we needed to tune manual VORs, we could do that. The send forecast is also probably off. Yeah. And that is checked. Um, go ahead and turn this on now. Now that we can. Uh, that's fine. Climb, Econ, the cruise Econ, destination, okay, no attack mode needed, that's fine, nothing we need to do here either, does maintenance work? Oh yeah, I remember that, yeah, it doesn't work. We'll keep it a progress page. I'm saying there flight plan I forgot, so Echo Delta Delta Mike to Echo Delta Delta Mike. If you need to return, turn secondary and just enter in the ILS for our return of 08 right. Insert. Okay. 
Okay. So now, what's the glare shield? Do infra scan so flight directors are armed. That the nav, nav, the airport constraints. Initial altitude 7,000. I'm hitting 080, zero, zero, it's checked. Nav profile mode. The rest is all checked. We'll set later. And that is good. We'll go down here, oxygen test. X works. Everything looks good here. Put terrain, which we'll keep it off for now. Because we're gonna do a weather radar test in a second. Our altimeter. But we can get our winds through here. Five zero at six seventeen degrees one zero two seven one zero two seven one zero two seven the set and reset all all is good we'll set this back to normal on indications look fine it's the flex you can set this to system two your test is fine. Just check everything here is fine as well. Do a quick sweep. Works. And um, light plane here. This is fine. That works. I'm going to go to. We'll do a weather radar test. Set system one. Now, I'm not sure how accurate this test is or how accurate this is. We're tilt up to five degrees initially, and then we can go to tune to our transponder and do a TCAS test. TCAS test pass. We know that's what we want to hear. Normally, it doesn't pass when you have the IRS, it's not aligned yet, so that's when it should say fail. Um, but I've never tested it actually um, without the IRSs. I'm not sure. I'm just chewing through, cycling through all the pages, making sure everything looks as it should. And indeed it does. Um, next thing we're going to set is our landing elevation here. Just you need to return up to 1500 feet. Good too as well. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pre-tune our ILS in case of a return, and that would be 1093, course of 80. And we will see the glide slope indicator here, and we'll also when we take off, it'll show up. But um, nothing we have to worry about, as we know it's just the ILS. All right, so um, our load manager just came up. Filling is complete, boarding is complete. We now have got our final figures. We're gonna go back to um, cut offs menu, run offs load sheet. And we've got our CG right here, 22 niner. We're gonna go to init, next page, and plug in 22 niner in here. Zero fuel weight, 110.2, 110.2. Next, we would also get I for clearance and all that stuff. We amend our information, our, our code here. We'd also set uh, frequencies. Make sure that the light here for the flight recorder is not illuminated, which it isn't, so that's checked. And um, that's all good to go. Once we're six minutes away from uh, pushing back, we'll go ahead and start the APU. So master switch comes on. The um, APU page should automatically go up. We're gonna hit the start button. Verify all the indications are correct, that's fine, and we can now do a takeoff calculations. So we'll go to takeoff performance, we'll compute. And here we go, flex 60. 
is 95.8%. Now I'm going to go to take off. Now we're going to set a V2 of 165 in here. Pre select, and then our first restriction is 210 knots, so we're going to put 210 in here. So we've got V2 set, VR 162153. Okay. Next, our thrust reduction acceleration, we're going to set 3,000. Oh, we shall do a force or checklist below the line. Checklist. Alright, for completed signs on auto fuel quantity. Um, go to fuel. That's 16.5 around, we do, and they're all balanced. Just checked. Um, navigation checked and set, landing elevation 1,500 feet set, altimeters 102 have been set on all three, and um, brakes and anti skid set from on. It's checked. And now I'm going to go and set terrain on this side. Go and call the pushback truck. Ground to cockpit. Ground Please to show me. B for today and start engine number two. At 15%, we'll introduce fuel. Crossline, which is maybe knock them off. Well, Operation test. complete. Please set parking brake. Just reset. Just connecting tow. Stand by. You guys not required. Put our airline trim, fiends, rope, piss trim. Going to be. Right. 
neutral, rudder, left, all right, neutral, control check complete, because taxi clearance, once we get it, lights to taxi, use the parking brake, let's go. Check the transponder is set. Now we are ready. Pull the line. Cabin secure. TCAS TARA. Packs. On ignition, off, and your eyes off. And take off. Yeah. 
and welcome to Helsinki. For the landing, holy, it was really difficult. Uh, yeah, we made it. And, um, welcome. Hope oh, that is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And, uh, no replay on the landing because I mean, we don't see anything anyway. But after a little bit more, uh, concludes. Yeah, thank you guys so much, and we'll see you all in the next one. So that happens, have a wonderful rest of the day. And peace.